ethical living expert. What a title that is. Good morning. Uh, are you surprised uh, by these findings about the supermarkets particularly? No, I'm strangely depressed. It feels like Groundhog Day. I feel like we've, we've been here before and we've um, talked to supermarkets a lot about how much packaging they produce and we don't seem to be getting much movement, so mm. I'm not surprised. Well, it's not exactly the badge of honour that you'd like, is it really? M&S coming out bottom of the table, uh, given your much publicised stance mm. on uh, the environment, environmental issues. Absolutely, we've made it over 100 commitments to address social environment. High Street can manage it though, 79%. Why can't M&S? Well, see all the supermarket chains are uh, pretty much saying the same thing. Uh, Morrison's want to reduce the volume of waste to landfill by a half by 2010, that sort of thing. The other saying similar, making similar sorts of noises. Are they really doing enough? Well, I can, it, it is for people who have their own brand products like M&S, I think they should be moving quicker because they're in control of that supply line and they're not talking to other companies and manufacturers. What are M&S doing wrong? Well, I think there's still too much emphasis on plastic, which is the real problem for people recycling in this country, that only really a couple of sorts of plastic can be easily recycled. And, you know, it's patchy. Access to those systems is really patchy. So there's too much emphasis on plastic. And it's too over-engineered, I'm afraid, Mike. It still looks like a lot of packaging for a small amount of product. Well, look, I mean, we, Lucy makes a very, very important point there about the small number of plastics that can be recycled in the UK and buy some apples, they put them in a paper bag, brown paper bag, you pay for them, take them home, take the apples out. They seem to have the same problem in the greengrocers, do they, with, with food waste, or do they? Well, so, uh, lay part of this, and I think we've had a lot of emails um, have saying, look, is that a big issue? Could they be brought uh, more on board as well and play a bigger part? Yeah, there's a real lack of consistency. In some boroughs you can recycle plastics, in some you can't, some don't even take cardboard. It's really difficult for the consumer to work out what on earth they can do. Then on top of that, you've got um, supermarkets using very over-engineered packaging, and they're using things that are fused together, like cardboard with plastic, with uh, metallized stickers, and it's very difficult for the consumer to work out, A, whether it's recyclable, and B, where on earth who on earth is going to take it back? It's very difficult. Mike, how on earth did we manage in the days before we wrapped pears in plastic cases? How did we manage all those centuries? How did we manage to do it? Well, we have to be clear. I mean, consumers have come a long distance now. They expect tipped a little bit too far in the rush to make sure that we meet those consumer needs for convenience. Too much packaging. Your competitors are managing it, or everyone has to do better. So what's your target going to be? When, when we next get you back on the sofa, what percentage <laughs> are we going to see? from Mike, Lucy, thank you both very thank much. You. Thank you.